What would you do if you saw a car on fire and a driver inside? Would you stop and help or assume someone else will intervene? It's exactly the scenario that happened a few weeks ago in North Little Rock, and one woman says she is grateful to be alive, thankful for two young men who didn't think twice before taking action. Underneath the carriage is where the fire started. Tuesday evening started like most do for Laura Lee Neldon. I was in front of the church. I was at the stoplight waiting to go to women's ministry. We have that at New Life on Tuesday. It was while at that light in front of New Life Church in North Little Rock when she heard someone honking their horn. I don't turn around and look because all I can think about people, it is five o'clock. OK, it's five o'clock traffic. Have some patience. But the honking wasn't an impatient driver. Unbeknownst to Laura Lee, it was someone desperately trying to get her attention. I got to the red light and uh, saw flames up from underneath her car. 17 year old Cabot High senior Wyatt Connor was on his way home from work when he saw smoke and flames coming from a vehicle stopped at the light. I thought someone maybe me being a couple car lengths back would get out and help her, but nobody helped her. So I just steadily on the horn until I caught someone's attention. And it eventually did. Across the intersection, Sergeant First Class Griffin Dickerson heard the horn and knew something wasn't right. I paid attention for a second. I could also see a little bit of flames underneath the car. People were driving through, driving by, videotaping. There were, there were a lot of spectators around while this was going on. Nobody else got engaged. Sergeant Dickerson ran the light and got Laura Lee out of the car just in time. We go up two car lengths and turn around and that's when the roaring flames are just engulfing the driver's side. Her car consumed by flames, but miraculously her Bible nearly untouched. Just so, so thankful, so grateful. Two people in the right place at the right time. In this scenario, you don't really have that much time to think you have to just make a decision and roll with it. Taking action and saving a life. I honestly think that they are heroes and I think they should be recognized as such. I think the same, and I'm joined now by these two heroes, Sergeant First Class Griffin Dickerson and Wyatt Connor. It's kind of been a whirlwind couple of weeks. I know you don't want the attention shined on you, but you all did a, a wonderful deed to save a woman's life. Appreciate it. Yeah, yes, we appreciate you. you being here today. And I wanted to invite you back today because it's not just me and Laura Lee that want to say thank you. We actually have North Little Rock Fire Department here. We have Fire Marshal John Flasseter. I want to invite him in now. And he's coming in and he wants to present you all with something today. So I wanted to surprise you guys in this moment. Come on over, John. Come on over here. Good morning. Good morning. How are you today? I'm doing great. It's I'm going to introduce you to these two young men and let you Sergeant take it away. Dickerson, good to meet you. Mr. Connor, good to meet you. Nice to meet you. Yeah. Well, on behalf of the North Rock Fire Department, I'd like to present you fellas with a letter of appreciation for what you've done. And uh, challenge coins, I'm sure Sergeant Dickerson is familiar <laughs> with. Uh, Challenge coins, I'm sure you have a few. So that's from the uh, fire marshal's office. Amazing. We appreciate uh, everything that you did. Yes, sir. And, uh, you know, uh, policemen and firemen, we're kind of expected to do things like they did. Yeah. But when uh, you're called like that, you're not expecting it. Mm -hmm. uh, we like to recognize it and uh, have every chance we can to do that. Do I have time to read the letter? Yeah, yeah you go okay. ahead. Uh, Sergeant First Class uh, Dickerson and Mr. Connor, the North Rock Fire Department would like to take this opportunity to thank you for your actions on September 10, 2019 and your willingness to assist a motorist in need. Your actions were paramount in saving a motorist from severe injury or death after their vehicle caught fire while driving in the vicinity of 8000 Crystal Road in uh, North Little Rock, Arkansas. The actions of individuals like yourself who respond selflessly when others are in need is a tenet of self-sacrifice and courage. Please accept the thanks from all of our first responders here at North Little Rock Fire Department and know that you have affected those around you in a very positive way. Thank you guys so much. We appreciate you being here today. Thank, Thank you, you for being here today. Yes, round of applause. Thank you, Thank you guys so much.